Hello everybody, welcome back. Thank you for joining me for another video. All right, so you're probably wondering, what is going on here? It is Tuesday and Canela normally posts every Wednesday and Sunday. Well, I am changing that up. It's time to do something different. Time to change it up a little bit, see if the YouTube gods and the YouTube algorithm, you know, does something differently for me because, you know, uh, YouTube ain't what it used to be, unfortunately. So I'm changing it up. And instead of posting every Wednesday and Sunday, I am now going to start posting every Tuesday and Saturday. Okay. So I'm just changing up the dates. So every Tuesday and Saturday, that is the new schedule for when I will be posting videos. And again, um, if I have laser Friday videos, I will put them always on laser Fridays. Um, so yeah, I thought I'd mention that. Sorry, I did not post a video on Sunday. Uh, I was down in Toronto spending some time with my friends and family poolside. We had a great gathering pool party. It was fun. The kids had a blast. Uh, we all had a blast. Um, so yeah, there was no video on Sunday. So I apologize for that. So you are watching one today, which is Tuesday, and then there will be one on Saturday and so on and so forth until I go to Greece in less than two weeks from now. Uh, super excited. I will try and have some videos done before I leave so that I can, you know, have them uh, released while I'm gone, but I no promises, all right? Um, really quickly, let me think. Oh, let me show you guys the tried results of my little mini bloom, which you can see I'm doing again today. Um, little mini bloom, how cute is that? Look how clean my back is. Look, I almost got it on the wood there. Oh, even there, but I didn't. Um, but yeah, it dried really well. So obviously it still needs a uh, top coat of crystal resin and then it's going to really shimmer. Like, I mean, we all know when the paints dry, they dry darker. Um, but with crystal resin, it is going to pop. So uh, really quickly again, Montreal, I will be doing a workshop uh, Saturday, September 14th in Montreal. Um, if you are interested in coming, I still have a few spots available. Um, I've had a great turnout, so I'm really excited about that. Um, a lot of students are signed up and ready to paint on September 14th with me. So if you are interested in coming to Montreal, you can email me at canelasiraco at gmail.com. And then I am also doing classes here, right here in my home studio in London, Ontario. So if you want information on that, that is happening October 19th and 20th. Uh, and if you want info on that, email me as well. And I will send you guys information on those two events. Uh, alrighty, so let's get started. If you saw my last video, I showed you guys my cute little spinner. I make these myself for those of you who haven't seen or don't know. Um, super cute spinners. Um, I've had a lot of people purchase these little mini guys um, and I've gotten some amazing feedback. So to everyone who has purchased one and has reached out with their feedback to tell me what they think, um, I really appreciate it. Um, basically, everyone loves how it spins, super easy, glides easily. Um, and the lowly Veffy mat is perfect as well. Uh, if you are interested in a spinner, email me. Um, you can get just the spinner for $45, or you can get the spinner and the 12 inch mat for $60. And that's in Canadian currency and shipping is extra. All right. Um, what I have here is yet another eight inch round. Uh, I get these from Loli Veffy. I've taped off the sides and the back or bottom, I mean. All right, so that is today's little mini. All right, and my colors that I'm going to be using for today's bloom is my Color to Go by Sherwin Williams. And I'm going to do some tricorn black today. And then the colors I'm using are Permanent Blue Violet. Permanent Blue Violet by Amsterdam. Then I have Lemon Sorbet, and this is a TLP Piggy, all right, from Fluid Art Co. Get that goober off my stick. So TLP Lemon Sorbet. Then we have Permanent Red Violet by Amsterdam. 
Then we have Blue Eyes. Again, another TLP piggy. I love the TLP piggies. And then topping it off, Enchantment, a TLP piggy. Okay, so those are the colors I'm using. And I've got my Payne's Gray cell activator. So Payne's Gray by Amsterdam with Australian Floetrol. Now, if you want to know the full tutorial, how to mix piggies, paints, cell activator, all that stuff, check out video number 504. I will link it up here at the top. Okay, so video 504 is a full tutorial with paint mixing ratios and all that fun stuff. It is an older video. Um, gosh, what is it, a year or two old now or something like that? But the ratios are still the same. Now, in that video, I use the Bear 8300. If you watch the video, you'll know what I'm talking about. And apparently, Home Depot has decided to change the concoction of the Bear 8300. Um, so there's a lot of different other options. I suggest you check out Lisa Marvin's YouTube channel. She just did a full experimentation, um, you know, since the Bear 8300 is no longer available. Well, it is, but they've added primer to it or some stuff to it to make it thinner. It's not as thick as it used to be. But she tried like, you know, Bear 53 something, uh, Dynasty. But check out Lisa Marvin's video and uh, you'll be able to see some of her test pieces that she did um, with that. All right. So I still have some of my Bear 8300, so I'm not concerned just yet. Um, but at some point I'm going to run out of my original Bear 8300 and then I'm going to have to figure something out and, you know, start testing out other stuff with, or just, you know, go with Lisa's recommendations. All right. So my pillow paint is down and I'm just kind of, you know, stretching it out here. All right. Put that back in there. All right, let's get started. Now, in the last video, I think I put too much cell activator. So I'm going to try and not put so much this time. Oops, I'm dripping everywhere. So we'll see how that goes because I don't want like that big black blob in the center after I blow it out. So I'm gonna put a lot of this lemon sorbet because I really love the yellow and it's gonna, it's almost like the 24K by Deco Art. It's really pretty. Lemon sorbet is one of my favorites. All right, permanent red violet. So I've got a lot going on these days. I got some, I got a really cool new piece of equipment uh, that is an attachment to my laser machine. Uh, and I'll be showing you guys that in the next upcoming, oh, maybe after I come back from Greece, actually. Um, but I'll be able to make and engrave on tumblers. So stay tuned for that. That's going to be super exciting. Custom, whoa, that was a big blob. Custom tumblers. That was a really big blob. Whoopsies. Custom tumblers, which is going to be really cool. So yeah, some new stuff coming up with the lasers and laser Fridays. All right, oh, you hear that? I just burned it. Don't do that. Don't do what I do. Oh my God, I just totally put a, did you see that? Oh my gosh, don't do that. Okay, see? Now I could have easily cut that part out of my video editing, okay? And you guys would have never even known I had done that um, and how stupid that was. Um, I just popped the bubbles like this, Canela. Um, but yeah, oh my goodness, don't do that. So yeah, I could easily just take that out and you would have never noticed or seen that. But I want you guys to see all my mistakes and my, you know, what I'm learning and what I don't learn because how the heck are you supposed to know what to do and what not to do, right? This is why I do these videos because if there's any mistakes, you learn from me, so don't do that. Pop it with a skewer or something. All right, there, that's less than I did last time. Let's blow her out. Ooh, maybe 
maybe that will be a little better. All right, so I'm going to let that sit for a minute and let whatever else come up, come up. And then I'm going to use my straw just to blow directly down into the black and see if I can get some more cells to pop up. All right, and then when that's done doing what it's doing, all right, just give it a minute. Oh, I was like, where did my skewer go? And we'll see what happens. But then I can also blow some of these outer cells inwards to let it, you know, get rid of some of the black instead of using the skewer. But in the meantime, like I did last time, you could totally, not that this matters because this is all going to, you know, come off the edges anyway when I spin it. Oh, see, there's a goober there from when I just torched the paint. Don't torch the paint. Don't do it. Okay, look at that. That looks pretty. And see, it's coming into the center now. You see that? You got to give it time. I have zero patience, zero. But um, you have to have patience for this kind of thing. Um, because as I'm jibber jabbering to you guys and doing my squiggles, look, all the black just kind of almost disappeared and I didn't have to really mess with it. So I'm really happy about that. All right. So let's, uh, let's spin it. I'm going to actually spin it lightly because I might want some of that negative space. And I'm going to spin in the same direction always. Like I always spin one way and then the other way. Um, but Lisa Marvin always spins just one way. So let's just spin one way today and see what happens. And I'm not spinning super duper hard either. I'm spinning lightly. So we'll see what happens. Oh, my squiggles look great though. See if I spin one more time, I'm worried that will all fall off the edge. And I kind of like the way it looks. And I think I'm done. I like that. See, you don't always have to spin for everything to come off the sides. Um, and I don't think there's a big puddle in the center because when I first put the black down, I kind of tilted it around. So I'm not spinning this anymore. Look at this minimal mess. Be clean like Canela. <laughs> Again, if you were in Fort Myers, you'd know what that's all about. Inside joke. I'm going to leave it because look, I've got my squiggles here. It's so cute. Okay. So I'm going to, I guess, scrape the edges, fix the edges and be right back. No, I guess I don't have to do that, do I? Um, because my edges are covered and I'm going to peel that tape off after I resin it. Oh my gosh, I love this. And it's so perfectly centered. Okay, I'm going to bring you guys in for a close up. Be right back. All right, so I still have it on the spinner. I'll take it off in a minute. But I wanted to show you guys. Look how pretty that is. Now, I could torch it lightly. That might be a bad idea. I did the last one though in my last video and it wasn't a problem. So I'm not really sure what happened this time around and why that burned like that. Oh, you see that? Look at that. Is that a goober or a bubble? I'm gonna have to find out in a second. But look at the cells, it turned out so pretty. I hope they stay like that, but even my little squiggles. I love the squiggles. Let's see what it looks like with the flash on. Okay, so that thing that was right there, it wasn't a bubble, it's actually a big boogie. It's a big goober, but I am not taking it out because if I take it out, it's gonna leave a big void there. So I'm leaving the goober where it is. Um, sometimes it's just not worth it. Leave it there, it's gonna dry. And then hopefully when you cover it with resin, you won't see it anyway. And you see why? I love lemon sorbet. It's like the equivalent to 24 karat gold in my blowouts. I love lemon sorbet. It's so pretty. Look at all that shimmer from the TLP piggies. I tell you, if you don't have TLP piggies, you know, I would get some. I would totally get some. I know they may seem expensive, but I'm telling you, 
that one little jar will last you forever and ever. Wow, look at that. I really hope these cells stay the way they are. All right, everybody. So I've taken it off the spinner, cleaned my mat, and I put it down on the table. The last one I had, I put here on these cups. Um, and then halfway through, like the next day, I noticed that my board was warping. Um, so I took it off and I put it flat on the table and look, it strained itself out. Thank goodness for that. But it was like really wobbly when I, you know, touched it from side to side. So that's the, my only concern when you pop prop stuff up on like cups, um, it could warp, but if it's laying flat on a table, that might not, typically not, usually not happen. So my only problem is, I'm not sure if my table is level. So I'm gonna come back and see if like more paint has dripped off of the side here, or what I could do is um, scrape the paint off the side, because again, the, t the sides are taped, but um, lay it flat if you can, make sure it's level. But uh, anywho, look at this. So let me know what you guys think about this in the comments below. And I love that I did those swirls and that I didn't overspin it. I'm super duper happy with that and I'm loving, look at those cells. That is amazing and I really hope that they don't get distorted or melty as um, Lisa Marvin says, they melt and turn into mush. But anywho, let me know what you guys think about this in the comments below. Um, check out the description below the video. There's lots of information there, discount codes and all that. Look at that. See, it changes my camera changes color. And again, as usual, if you want information for Montreal, or from my home studio workshop, you can email me. This is available for purchase for anyone who is interested. You know, I'll show you guys the dried results in the next video, but I hope you guys enjoyed this little bloom video. I'm really having fun with these. Until next time, my friends, thank you so much for watching. Have a good day, have a good night, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care, bye.